Hey, we are making something fun today. We are gonna make something like this. Dirty martini dip. I'm on my way to a party and the hostess loves dirty martinis. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna surprise her and bring a dirty martini dip. So in the mixer here, I've already beat uh, eight ounces, one block of cream cheese softened. And to that, I'm gonna add one cup, which is about half a container of sour cream and get that mixed up. Oh my gosh, who doesn't love a good dip, huh? And this is gonna be a good one. So I'm gonna give that a stir here. Mostly because I don't wanna break up my olives too much. And so to that, I have about a tablespoon of shallot chopped really small and one clove of, gar of garlic, of course diced very small maybe a heaping ta a tablespoon of shallot, because some people, you know, like a little olive in their dirty martini. And uh, I'm gonna add to that. Let's whip that a little bit. Again, just try and keep my olives from getting too mushed. And you could do this by hand too if you wanted, but I'm just trying to do it quick. This is about three quarters of a cup of fancy martini olive stuffed with pimento. Now you can use whatever you like. If you like the blue cheese stuffed olives, then you don't need to add the blue cheese. But here I have about a half a cup of blue cheese crumbled. Of course, I never buy pre-crumbled or pre-shredded uh, cheese. I'm gonna let the mixer do it in this case in the blue, in blue cheese. And so I'm gonna mix that in. And while that's mixing, I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Oh my gosh, it smells good already. I'll stop this for sa uh, safety first here. I'm gonna put a few turns of fresh black pepper. And then to that, I will add just a pinch of salt because the olives have a lot of salt. Just a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna add one tablespoon of olive juice from the jar of fancy martini olives. So one tablespoon. Now you could add a tablespoon of uh, gin or vodka, if you really wanted to spice up your martini vibe here. But I am not, because I'm taking it to a party. And some people just don't like that. So that's it. Dirty martini dip. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to get it um, into the serving dish and show you what we've got here. And we have a yummy and delicious dirty martini dip with the olives and the blue cheese. And I'm going to garnish it here with an olive and a little bit of blue cheese on on top so let me get this in the bowl here you can see that we have this delicious dip i can get it into the serving bowl here neatly and then i'll put a little bit of blue cheese on top because some people don't love it and then people know what's in my dip so get this all out of our bowl here and get it in the serving dish of course my hands are very clean I'll clean that up in a second here. Oh my gosh. Smells delicious, delicious. So to that, I'm gonna garnish here with an olive and put a little olive on top so you know there's olives in there. And then a little bit more of the blue cheese. So people know there's blue cheese in my dip here. A little bit of blue cheese on top, crumble it. And there you have it dirty martini dip for your favorite person that loves dirty martinis. Make it a great one.